Hello everyone, I am Manali Mishra from KP Gate Classes and today we are going to address the elephant in the room that is whether we should take up architecture or whether we should take up planning in the gate paper which section should we select which is the most scoring or in which we'll be able to you know score more marks and which subject is more effective for us basically now before that the first thing that you have to understand and i think a lot of you may be aware of it already a lot of you may not be aware of it so let's try to understand what is this architecture and planning section all about so the new pattern of gate the new pattern that is followed for the gate examination is that initially you had the general aptitude and the part the course uh, subject part but now the core subject is further divided into three parts one is your common part and the two other parts that you have is basically your architecture and planning so common part is something that everybody attempts you have to attempt that is mandatory and the rest two other parts that you have that is architecture and planning you can choose to attempt any one of that Okay, so the complete choice is in your hand, whatever you want to attempt, that is something that you have to decide. So even the gate syllabus that you get, it is basically divided in, into the three sections, that is what is in the common section, what is in the architecture section, what is in the planning section. Now you must be thinking that, so which one should we, you know, attempt, how are, how are we going to decide that? Now, a lot of you think that, okay, since we are BR student, so we can only attempt architecture, we cannot attempt planning. Or we are B plan students, that means we can only attend, uh, the, attempt the section of planning and not the architecture. But that is not right. Irrespective of your background, you can attempt any section, whichever you feel like. Second confusion that people have that, if I want to take up masters in planning after this, then I can only attempt the planning section. Or if I want to take masters in architecture, then I can only attempt the architecture section. I cannot do the other section. No, again, that is also a biggest myth. That is not right. You can attempt any section that you want to, irrespective of whatever master's degree you want to select. Uh, you want to go for planning, architecture, transportation, doesn't matter. You can choose whichever section that you want to. Now, GATE has actually given you a very big advantage here. What GATE has done is that they are not asking you to make this choice before the exam. They're asking you to make this choice in the examination hall. That means you can actually look at the questions and you can decide, okay, architecture is the one where I'm able to score more, so I can attend the architecture part. Or you can, you know, see that, okay, planning is the one where I'm able to score more marks. So you can actually choose the planning section. So this is a very big advantage which the gate examination has given to you. And I feel you should actually, you know, utilize this advantage. Why? Because at the end of the day, as I said you, nobody is going to ask what you attempted. At the end of the day, what matters is your rank. So if you are able to get good marks by attempting architecture, you can do that. Or by attempting planning, you can do that. Now, we always, what we suggest is plan for, you know, study for both these parts. There are a lot of subjects which actually overlap. It's like half-half. Like, let's say, uh, you know, in transportation, half of it is in architecture, half of it is in planning. Urban housing, half of it is in architecture, half of it is in planning. Okay, so the subjects are such that you cannot segregate and read. These are all overlapping things. You have to study everything. So what we suggest is prepare for the entire thing so that you have that advantage in the examination hall whereby you can do that selection. But if you do not want to prepare for both, even that is fine. Still that is fine. So what you have to do is now you have to take out the gate syllabus. The gate have clearly segregated between the two parts, architecture part and planning part. Read through the syllabus, read through the different subjects and try to understand what each section comprises of. What are the different things that I have to study in architecture? Or what are the different subjects or, you know, matters or you can say concepts that I have to study in planning? Based on your personal interest, you have to make a choice if you want to make a choice, provided that you want to make a choice. Based on that, you have to make a choice based on your interest. And if you are making a choice, if you are very adamant that, no, I don't want to prepare for the entire thing, I will just stick with one thing, you have to stick with that till the end. You have to be confident in that and you have to stick with that. But 
again with if you don't want to take a chance and you're like okay let's see you know you never know what happens you can prepare for the entire thing because it is not at the end of the day it's not black and white i cannot stand here or nobody can stand here and say that architecture is more scoring than planning or planning is more scoring than architecture it depends on your level of preparation it depends on the type of question that comes in that gate examination so at the end of the day what you have to do is you have to prepare for the entire thing but if you plan to choose any one you have to be very confident in your decision and you have to stick with that decision till the end of the exam preparation i hope this video has been helpful in some way if you found this video helpful in any way then please uh, make sure to drop like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any other queries you can write that in the comment box below thank you